Jamie. Great to see you. It's good to see you, too. Thank you for having me. Well, thanks for being here. I'm surprised you put up with me for five minutes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Well, welcome to Shockfest 2014. I'm excited. It's my first time here. I like it. Yeah, you know, it's uh, Raleigh Studios. Great. I love it here. Yeah, it's a really nice setting, and everybody's, you know, it seems to be on theme for horror and shock style <laughs> stuff, so I'm excited to be here. Yeah, there's some pretty scary creatures I know kind of milling around between the cars and the parking lot. Oh, I don't do well with masks. I think tonight's <laughs> going to be really entertaining for everybody because I'm well, going to get freaked out. Well, let me ask you, Jamie, can you can you give us some insight on some of your projects? Um, yeah, I just finished the last two seasons as a werewolf on True Blood, and that was really fun. You know, that's a huge supernatural show, and we have a huge following, um, and they cross over a lot of all the shock and horror genre as well, so it's been a lot of fun to be on that show. <laughs> well, let me ask you one more question, since I've got you a health captain here in front of the camera. Um, do you, what do you think that uh, these film festivals are important? I think that they're insanely important because, you know, you it's an outlet for people, for new people to be seen. And I think that's super important to continue bringing new talent into the industry. And all these these niche film fests make it possible for people who specialize in something to really come forward and present what they do. And I think that's how we find the next new thing, you know. These festivals make it possible for low-budget filmmakers to really get their stuff out there, you know. Well, I, I noticed that because I know occasionally I'll, I've snagged a little work myself, you know, a little acting work, and they, they can't even use a, use a middle-aged old geezer from back from the Indian <laughs> nations in Oklahoma, so. Stop. <laughs> so I still get a little work out of it. You know, you need everybody. Yeah. <laughs> well, anybody, you know, anybody I've noticed in this business can be nobody one day, an A-lister the next, and then maybe and back move, down. Yeah, back down and, <laughs> and be out of state somewhere and, you know, maybe go start a chicken ranch or something. That's true. <laughs> Well, Jamie, thanks a lot. I really appreciate you showing up. Of course. Up. Thank you for having me. Thanks for the interview.